In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create text to speech converter in Excel VBA. This is the part 1 of the student app creation series on this channel. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will be the first to know when I release a new video in this series. Let's get started. This previous video demonstrate to you that we can actually use the speech engine of our computers to create text to speech app in Excel so how did we do it let me close this down and then open a blank new Excel workbook so I'm launching one and then If you are new to Excel and you, your, you open your workbook, you might not find the developer here. What you can do is that you should come down here, come here, right click and then click on customize ribbon. This will open a new dialog box whereby you can check mark the developer tab here. Or, or you can also come to file and then come down to options and then customize ribbon and also check mark this so that the developer will be among the items on this menu so now what we have to do is now is to cl click on the developer and then move straight to visual basics but before we go on we have to save our file let's go back to excel and then click on file then come to save us we can browse for where by where we want to keep our document you can choose anywhere so in my case i'll be saving it on my desktop so i'll click here and then name it student app one and then i will come down here and save the workbook as a macro enabled workbook i'll click on it and then click save now my file has been saved as a macro enabled workbook Come back here and what i'll have to do is to insert a new user form i'll click on insert click on user form and then a new user form has been inserted for me 
the user form can be used to it's actually used to design the user interface as we'll be learning in this series we'll learn um, how to design our user form and it will be part of this series so now we can either expand the user form by holding and then dragging here or we can come to the property bar and then click on height we can change the height to 300 and then maybe the width we can choose 600 600 that's the height and width but let let's increase the height a bit let's make the height to become 400 400 okay now we come to the two controls con tools and then select label and draw it across caption we will give the label this caption text to speech converter text to speech converter okay and then let's increase the font size to be board and then increase the font size to let's say 24 okay. so now the next thing we have to do is to select a text box and draw drag it across Let's name the text box TXT XT speech and increase the font size to be twenty. Now the next thing we have to do is to introduce a command button. So we pick a select a command button and draw it here. And the command button, let's call it. Let's give it this name: read text with a font size of. Of also twenty bold, and then the button name. Let's make it BTN BTN text. Okay, we can. We can now run our application to see how it looks. Come to the run and then okay. So this is how our application is going to look like for now. Let's adjust this a bit and then add this line of code to the command button. Application dot pitch dot speak then we pass on whatever is in the text box 
will then be passed on to the function application does speech does speech so now let's select the name name for the text box come here and then paste this here and close the bracket if everything works out well our application should run let's see now hi 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 Hello world. Hello world. Hello world. Hello world. This demonstrates that you can actually use the speech engine of your computer to convert text to speech. Okay. You must have noticed that when we were typing the new words that we were typing kept on moving. But instead of it to come down to the next line, what we have to do is now is to format the text box a bit more so that it will be able to have more in line for and then be able to accept new lines on another line so let's come to multi line and set it to true and then the next thing we'll have to do is to let's take the tab key we have to also enable the tab so that we can use the tab in our writing our sentences okay let's set that one to true and the last thing that we will have to enable is the enter key let's also enable the enter key and then make it true and let's run it This application can be useful when teaching children letters of the alphabets and phonics. A for ant. B for boy. C for cat. D for dog. Okay, so in our next episode, we will learn or take this development further and then create it so that we can be using it to teach our kids and also students how to learn phonics and then the letters of the alphabet please do not forget to subscribe like and share this video so that i'll be able to continue to make such 
tutorials for you in the future. Thank you.